And welcome back. Okay, Joe's here from Cafe Cusco on Historic C Street. Now, you're going to be making a like a standard you know, oh, yeah. over at Cafe. But I, I want you to take a look at this. This is the finished dish. Plate it up here. What's it the called mussels? again? Uh, mussels a la macho. Wow. Mussels a la macho. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Uh, and we can't uh -huh. tilt it much or all the stuff will roll. All the good stuff yeah, will run out. You can tilt it into your mouth. Oh, yeah. my. That's about as far as I can get it. Goodness. Mm -hmm. So you put the pico over the top, you put the fresh cilantro mm -hmm. over the top. Yep. Oh, yep. my Grab goodness. Grab a spoon, dig in, and uh, pour all your rice in at the end and just eat up all Can I just juice. grab one of the mussels, open it yeah. up? And oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You could, yeah, sure. yeah. I, mean, I have to be honest, I've never had yeah, a mussel yeah, before. Yeah, just pull that one there. It's a nice big one. Okay. Yes. You just slide the... Oh, And actually, in what you'll do is you'll, you'll loosen that up uh -huh. and then take it like a spoon and dip it into the broth. Use that as a spoon. And use it to oh, eat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll yeah, do that. I'm going to do that. Okay, while he's doing that, while you're doing that, I'm going to shake this real quick. Okay. Pour a little bit of this So, this is a traditional drink, right, in Peru. Yeah. What is Pisco, isn't it like a brandy? Pisco is. It's it's considered a white brandy. Okay. And uh, I got to shake it up real quick here because um, there's actually egg white in here. Yes. And so it's kind of like a traditional sour. And uh, so the egg white, you you um, pull the egg white out and then uh, shake it with your lime juice. And then uh, I like to use a little agave nectar. Traditionally, it's just um, sh uh, sugar water. Right. Right. Uh, Sweeten it up. Yep. And then uh, your pisco. And uh, so there's lots of different piscos, uh, um, but we're using uh, kind of a, a kind of like tequila. We're using one that is uh, clear, like okay. white, you know, right. puro. And uh, so anyway, so you shake it up. It's real simple. It's, it's just your uh, a little bit of water, your sweetener, your pisco, mm. your lime juice, um, mm. and then uh, your egg white. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of shake it over ice, get it nice and cold and frothy. And I'll pour one in here. I should have brought my strainer, but that's okay. The egg white gives you that frothy, you know, part yeah. of the bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you'll that's get a little bit of ice cubes white, right? in here. Uh, yeah. Look at that! It's a little like a margarita, kind of. It sort is. Of. In fact, actually, so uh, it was actually created by an American in Peru, okay. really? uh, in oh, Lima. Yeah, and uh, he uh, um, mm. had the pisco, and somebody wanted a drink that was more like a, a margarita. Okay. And so that's what he came up with, and it's now actually become their national drink. Oh, and what are you uh, adding? Yeah, okay, so traditionally you would put like a little bitters on top or you might put a little bit of cinnamon on mm -hmm. top. So I have some cinnamon here. Okay. But uh, Rachel, who was on earlier, yes. um, uh, we're actually like super close friends and we both have property together up on the Niangua River. So oh. we spend a lot of time together. And, uh, and actually coming this fall, uh, we're planning to open a restaurant together. So, uh, Cannot so this wait. is for, for, first cool. time it's been announced on air. Right. So anyways, uh, but one thing that is fun and sweet is you can actually add just about anything to your Pisco mm -hmm. Sours, like a margarita and uh, her elderberry good stuff. Uh, yes. Makes so. a really nice yep. addition. So I'm going to put what a great little idea. bit on there. Now is this restaurant, is it going to be up at the Niangua? No, it's actually going to be on Commercial Street. Oh, yeah. another one yep. on C Street. It will be. Yeah, yeah. we're going to add to our repertoire there, and uh, and it will be featuring a lot of farm to table and mm -hmm. uh, wild infused um, food. So a lot of the the foraging and, and wild edible fun. stuff that she Rachel's going to be well. busy foraging, foraging for more, much is. more to come on she that. She already is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so, so I'm, we get to try, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I, and, I adore yeah. these. Thank I'm going to put a little bit of the elderberry. Please do, in there because you know. Yeah. It'll do me good. Elderberry is oh, yeah. nice and healthy. Yeah. yeah, everything's healthy when you add alcohol. Oh my goodness, yeah. it's and it's <laughs> lovely. And anyway, try out Cafe Cusco if you haven't already. It is absolutely fantastic. Is this on your, is this on your menu all year? All year, all year. Yeah, okay. it's it's super popular in the summertime. Mm. You'll find me on the patio eating it all the time. But it, uh, you sell a ton of these, don't you? Uh, it, um, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. How much <laughs> I can see yeah. why. Yeah, that is we great. Sell a lot. And this yep. is tremendous. It is. And they have a great happy hour. Trust oh, me on that. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Joe Goodman, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate yeah. it. Visit him there and at Van Gogh's as well. And thank you to Rachel West with Eating the Ozarks. Kim Flores with the Springfield Green County Library. Yes, very good. Also, mm. uh, Shelly Williams with Edelman Vacations. Joe, of course, from Cafe Cusco. Great job. And mm. thank you for hanging out with us today. Yeah. I wanted you to read so I could sip. Okay, all right. Have a good yeah. one, everybody. Get out and enjoy the weather. Cheers. Bye. Look at that.